one of the reasons why I opened Sunda in Nashville was one, I wanted to take an 11 year Chicago restaurant concept to other places around the country. And Nashville is only a 55 minute flight. It's about a six hour drive, super close. A ton of people from Chicago have been coming to Nashville for, for forever, just for, not just because it's the bachelor cap, capital of the bachelorette capital of the world, I think they call it. Um, but because of the country music, the music, um, the, the nature, the food, uh, and then vice versa. Everyone from Nashville goes to Chicago, of course, because Chicago's got the theater, it's got the architecture, it's got the food scene, it's got the diversity, cultural, um, art. It's, it's just all these sorts of wonderful benefits that um, I, as a Chicagoan born and raised, uh, regardless of where I'm spending my time, um, appreciate and, and, and always call myself a Chicagoan still to this day. If anyone asks me where, you know, where I'm from, I'm like Chicago. <laughs> Chicago, <laughs> Chicago, exactly. 100%. Yeah, I mean, I just, I still, you know, I'm, I'm there every week, um, especially now because we're opening, reopening Sunda in Chicago. Thank goodness. After such a, a tremendously hard um, 2020 and into 21 for just, you know, all restaurants and all restaurant tours, Across the country, across the world. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about the food because one of the things that I've missed over the past year and a half is going out for sushi. That was like my favorite thing to do on a Friday yeah. night, on a Saturday night, going downtown, uh, yeah. checking out one of the neighborhoods. Um, what's one of like the dishes that everyone has come back so far and been like, "This is what I miss," or something that's brand new yeah. that it's, people it's, I need to check out? That this is interesting. This is a uh, this is a dish the dish that I will tell you right now, I've never tried. I. And why? Because I don't like spicy that hurts. And there's a there's a particular roll that has a ghost pepper in it. And it's called the gambler roll. It was off the menu. We we took it off because, you know, during COVID, you had to shrink down to the basics. And what we did was we took all the sushi roll pieces and we put it on like a, a roulette wheel spinner that goes to your table. And it's called the gambler roll. And everyone at your table has to pick one, one at a time. And one of them has a ghost pepper in it. And that person loses and there's a glass of milk there and all this other stuff. I thought it was gimmicky and I thought it was like, whatever, it's delicious. I mean, they obviously the roll without the ghost pepper, I would eat all day long because it's delicious. But um, people were freaking out and they're like, where, where did we get this? Um, and to be back um, opening in May, uh, it, that, it just had to happen. It just had to happen for us. So I'm really excited. And then Underground's going to open up in June after 15 months of being closed from, you know, celebrities haven't been able to come to town to, you know, promote their movies or to come to town to, you know, perform, you know, at one of the yeah. music venues across the city. But anytime there would be, they would always, I would always know that, you know, somebody was in town and there would be a photo of you with them, or they would be in one of your, one of your spots. So I just want to chat a little bit about maybe some cool, you know, memories of having, you know, like, let's just go with yeah. Michelle Obama having kind of that dining experience with her in Sunda. Well, that one was really special. I was appointed by the president uh, probably a year or two before and Michelle Obama was coming through Chicago and she was doing a big dinner and I gave her the second floor of Sunda, but it was unrelated to my position. It was really interesting because they have all these sort of organizers and handlers that had nothing to do. It had to do with them having uh, some feedback from people that Sunda was a great place to go and there's a private room and Secret Service loved it, this, uh, this, that, and the other. But it was just awesome because, you know, she, you know, the First Lady of the United States is just, it's just an amazing, iconic sort of giving position. Um, I obviously, enjoyed uh them at, in, you know in chicago before the white house but also at the white house um and 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 it, but i but i never had the moment where um someone wanted to take a picture and they said you guys get together you guys get together and i was like no 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 you know i, I just hey don't do this here because it's you know i was trying to be respectful and on behalf of the brand let them know that we're not like that and she just put um a put me in a headlock, like in a hug headlock. And I was just like, and it, and honestly it felt like a friend, like my sister, or like whatever. It was just like, man, it was awesome. And Michael, me wedged between Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen was one of my favorites, right? Oh my God, as a kid who grew up in Chicago, I got Scotty Pippen and, and, and Michael Jordan um, for, you know, we, we hosted uh, Scotty Pippen's birthday. It was just awesome. Uh, you know, this picture of Barbara Streisand uh, at Sunda, which was cool because I was nervous. I don't usually get nervous, but I was nervous with Barbara Streisand because um, she's iconic. And uh, 
but she was, she knew her stuff. Like, she's like, yeah, I worked in a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, I know this, I know this, blah, blah, blah. What do you, how do you do that? How do you make this? What do you do this? Da, 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 da. And I was like, whoa, Barbara Streisand's asking me a lot of questions and I just can't stop focusing on her face. Like, I just didn't know what to say. 2013 Stanley Cup, when everybody was outside of Rocket, you know, people were lining up in the streets. Yeah. The team is upstairs. Cool. I mean, what a cool, cool moment right there in Chicago. Yeah. The craziest moment, like we've always taken care of, again, athletes and, 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 and anyone else is just like any old Chicago. So it's like we've, we've become friends and we try to take care of them and whatever. And I got a text and, and uh, I'll never forget the first time they were like, get, get here, jump on the bus. And I jumped on the bus and we were, you know, they started at one of my places um, and that was cool. And then we started going to other places and the word got out that like I was on that bus. So it meant one of the very few licenses in Chicago that are late allowed to stay two hours open is underground. So, and it was, it, this meant 4 AM and we had, uh, you know, like police escorts or whatever, but the word got out underground is where they're all going to end up where the grand finale is. So five blocks around underground are shut down by the police. It's like wall to wall. And we pull up and dude, I, I was, it was the most epic celebration of my life. And I have been in the business of creating celebrations and those events. And I've ever seen in a movie or anything like that. We were, it was full of, 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 you know, it was obviously the Blackhawks, but all like any celebrities like Vince Vaughn, Johnny Galecki, like from Big Bang and like all these other, you know, basketball players and baseball players and government officials. And it was like, uh, and just every party, crazy, fun person worse everyone standing on every single like bar or, or table or chair. I'm running down the bar spraying uh, like huge magnums of, of, of champagne into people's mouths. Who's on your list of someone who hasn't maybe step foot in one of your venues that you would just love to have a conversation with or to be able to, you know, to, uh, to eat a meal at, at Sunda. But if I had to pick, if I had to pick one, oh man, I don't even know. Madonna. I said it, it's out there. I just, it's, it, it just, I grew up. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. No, I mean, she, come on. It's Madonna. It's Madonna. I mean, you're, Can you, you imagine? Cause it used to be like, I mean, it's got to be someone from back in the day for me that just yeah. became unattainable. Like, um, you know, like, like Prince, like that, that was my, you know, that was like my, my guy. Like I, like I just thought he was, you know, that. I mean, whatever. especially, you know, she's, she's come here, you know, performing at the United yeah. Center, an icon for, you know, 35, you know, plus years, you Still rarely well. hear her going out to Still do well. things. So it's, it's one of those things of like someone you grew up with, but I'm someone... actually going to give myself credit right now because I was like, nervous that I was going to pull one out, but, but that, that one, I'm going to say that's a, that I'm going to laminate that one. That's real. We'll, we'll just make that real.